Hello, ladies, gents, and future burn victims. Oh, the time is approaching to have the wonderful empire come and visit these humble yet charming little throne room that we are we are creating over here. A special reception area for our most esteemed friends. They forgave all of our improprieties. It's all water under the bridge. We are going to form new relationships and truly embrace a thriving new era of mutual understanding, commerce, and friendship. It's going to be great. Ah, can't wait. Cannot wait. It's been a minute since I was last here in our wonderful world of the rim. Fortunately, I just haven't had the time to do nothing where it comes to playing the video games with recording and doing commentary. Quite the tragedy. Pisses me off. But hopefully that trend shall stop today. We'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming. I have scheduled all this building, all the things, because I want to create a brewery right here. Figured I should probably prioritize it, thinking that, uh, you know, the, the hops are all beautifully planted. It's going to be some sweet, delicious things. Please, please, let it just be t Rose. Okay, good, good stuff. It's just t Rose being t Rose. <laughs> <laughs> it just takes, gets every disease under the sun. Go get it treated. T Rose Blargo will just routinely patch you up. It is his favorite pastime. Maybe cup a field or two. It's all in the in the day's work. Freaking dry thunderstorm out there, creating fires. My beautiful, beautiful trees. Absolutely loathsome. Let it all burn. I don't give a crap. I can't be bothered, brother. I can't be bothered. It will eventually all be reborn from the ashes. It shall uh, rain soon enough. Who the hell cares? Let it all burn. I hate it anyway. This door must be built. I have made sure to... Yeah, there you go. Break Soul is back to making blocks. We suspended it for a while because it was out of control. It is back to making blocks constantly. Throw not usable. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, made sure to destroy a bunch of blocks all over the place. That way we can create a much better environment. We're using granite for we are out of all the other stuff. Doesn't quite matter. Build that nice door right there. And I was told in the comments a very smirt, very smirt suggestion. You want to save yourself some sterile tiles. Make those biopods into tiny tiny rooms and you're going to say like every one of these tiles that I'm building I am saving oh quest available okay orbital spacecraft ah that's the quest thing this is the most annoying of all the info gathering for the the relic quest is when something crashes in your place and you have to send your investigator to hack the terminal and it takes forever and a whole bunch of people keep raiding you it's annoying as hell but this is free food so uh, it is a very good very good option to have like after the next big event if we survive it it is a very good choice to do it because there will be a lot of human food coming uh, alongside with alongside it and it's going to be great uh, oh, this door is not being built because we have no blocks, but event he he'll get around to it. Sandstone blocks are being produced as I speak, so it's all good. And uh, making some extra space to be able to uh, haul some more blocks all over the damn place. Get me all that stuff built. An eclipse has come to pass. Things in the rim world, eclipses can last for freaking days. Pretty upsetting, but whatever. It ain't no big thing. Continue building these uh, biopods. Let's see. Mm, can you fit two of them here? No, you cannot. This is a terribly spaced environment. I feel ashamed by my lack of preparation. But it doesn't matter. Just give a little bit of space in the middle. Maybe we'll put a snack bar 
for when people wake up from their uh, cryo bio super regenerative uh, experience. Let me install this wall lamp. We I had to uh, destroy it because of the of uh, of the digging. There you go. Make a wooden door right there and a wooden door right there. This is going to be the brewery. I always go overboard, make it way too big. Never fill up all the barrels. Let's do a, a little bit more modest of a, of our brewery. Thing is, it is connected right to our main freezer, so I don't even have to worry about that. We'll just put a few shelves for beer inside. It is connected to the hop harvesting operation. It's like very efficient, very nice. We can actually keep the hops right here. Hop. And we'll also keep the wort right there in the usual shelves. Why do I have all this twisted meat? Well, there was a reason why I ended up wanting the twisted meat, right? Other than making kibble. I think it was just to make kibble. Speaking of using twisted things, I told the tailor to, hey, use the dread leather too, because I was looking at the stats. It's actually great stats. It's just ugly, but we can outfit the psychopaths with it. I'm sure they will not care wearing a monster meat, a monster leather. They don't really give a crap. Is my door, is my door built? Bruh. Where are you, Blario? Where are you up to? You're hauling granite blocks to some place. How about you build this damn door? Go out there and build me a door. The empire must be lured. <laughs> the empire must be invited to this wonderful new room. Okay, this is an unowned. We're going to miscellaneous put my, our party spot right here put our uh, marriage spot like everybody is going to use this pl place for everything even the meditation spot uh, just in case the empire doesn't believe that that's the place war merchant nice but it's from savages not the greatest deconstruct this party spot there's only one party spot and it, that is that throne room right there Oh, it's an actual caravan, huh? It's just savages. I might be able to sell them some junk, but... A war merchant from savages is, like, the most worthless. It's trash. <laughs> but, uh, maybe we can buy some components. Three components that they have stumbled across and they have no idea how to use because, you see, they're primitives! But anyway. Anyway, let's get... A granite wall there. Blargo, what are you up to? Just hauling granite blo blocks. We're going to... Okay, he's already working on it. Uh, we gotta... Watch this very, very closely. Blight on hay grass. The entire thing! Usually Blight will, you know, give you a little bit of a... Of a grace. <laughs> no! All the hay grass. It's just... Nasty ass AIDS. What the freaking hell, brother? Cool. Cut all blight? Literally cut the whole thing? Well, at least uh, at least it's pretty young. Um, yeah, it's only 17%, so it's not like a massive disaster. I'm not losing an entire ready-to-harvest crop or nothing. Okay, let's watch this guy slowly. No, no. Really? Really? Are you cereal right now? Get in there. Get in there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Ooh, forbid. There you go. It shall be completed on a later day. All right. Well done. Well done. I would rather not do the Empire murder while I'm in. <coughs> oh no. Something got in my throat. My bad. I would rather not receive our most esteemed of uh, guests while we already are entertaining other guests. So. Let's just wait until these idiots wander off. Of course, we want to do a little bit of... Oh, that's right. Breaksoul had that creativity spurt. But we were holding off. Weren't we holding off for something so he didn't waste it? Or am I taking crazy pills here? I think... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can make assault rifles now. That's what I was waiting for. So I'm going to... Just make this assault rifle. Only. What's his name again? 
breaks all, not a sign. There you are, there you are. That's why I was thrown off for a loop because breaks all was not a sign. Okay, work, breaks all. Bruh, where is he? Oh my, so freaking names, so many names. Uh, you are now allowed to smith, tailor, an art. Only 11, huh? That's okay. All right. And, uh, and you're going to be directed to do it immediately. Do it right now. And it better be a masterwork. Incredible rifle. Tiros, what is your shoot frenzy? Banana has shoot frenzy. Epidemus, creativity, but he is a complete zero, right? Where creativity is concerned. So he might build a good chair. That's about it. If, uh, if I just tell him to do it, but hardly any point to do it. Okay, he's, he's doing it. I don't need to just make him into slave labor. He can just get around to it in his own time. It's all right. Are these idiots just waiting there? Are they going over to the obelisk to hang around in the obelisk? Sure, that is a great idea. Never mind the 20 tentacles you're going to be sprouting anytime soon. La Katrina is over there. Oh, you want to share into the ritual? A la bulgarnacasta. That is the greeting in her, the new language that she's learning. They are all properly freaked out. They're all going away now. Soon. Or maybe they're going to pull out their rifles. Alright, what you got? Bunch of boomalopes that I can sell. I'm not selling Major Stupid, but look at this. Look at this! A mate for Major Stupid. Here's the thing. It's Major Stupid too old and... Uh, decrepit to be able to to bring a new warg to fruition let's get her a young pup he's uh, quite the handsome boy he's going to impregnate this blind limbless poor little girl but she just wants to be a mom in her old years and we're going to make it happen all right let's see let's sell some of this garbage insect jelly Maybe we can afford these wargs. I am broke. Quite the tragedy. But we do have some ambrosia. Oh, nice. We got some yayo produced. That's the thing with the yayo. That's why you want to produce the yayo. Because every merchant will take it. At, at least in my, in my recollection. There may be a merchant that doesn't. But as far as I know, I believe every damn merchant will take yayo for currency it's like basically making money into better money when you are creating drugs all you need to do is set your morals at the door and never think about it anymore sure sure we'll sell this cowboy hat there's a lot of things to to sell all these nasty ass tattered clothes these people are stupid as hell they'll just buy anything damn filthy savages just to sell all this garbage. And we have been making dusters literally to sell. We got three excellent dusters, huh? Uh, but I am nearing the point where I no longer... Like, I, I am selling too many things. Which kind of tells me maybe I should keep the yayo and sell the dusters instead. Because I don't think the dusters will be bought by everybody like the yayo does. So let me keep the yayo. Uh, wow, that really? 64 Yayo is 856 points of currency. That's enormous. That's such a valuable, valuable pile of money. But anyway, let's sell these Blue Fleur dusters, which are also nice and valuable. And we have so much leather laying around. I really want to sell the dusters first. Uh, maybe, buy, uh, maybe we'll just buy all the wards get ourselves an extra female in case the major stupid she just cannot cannot you know get there <laughs> she's had too much excitement in her life she just doesn't want any boy any uppity boy to get too close to her uh, we're going to buy both and now i have so many boomalopes uh, that i tamed maybe we're going to sell every single calf that is coming up That's good. I accept. That's a big pile of money. We really could have you could use some extra currency, so it's very nice to get. 
Ah, cut down all that trash. All right, looking pretty great. And I was like, man, the mushroom situation. It's like, we go through so many mushrooms. Nothing is close to... Oh, yeah, yeah, this is close to harvest. So it's like, uh, maybe I need to make another patch. Make another patch. Ready to harvest. Let's see, create all these wooden doors. We have lots of wood, right? What's the wood situation? Actually, you're a little broke where wood is concerned, but the outside is... Uh, the outside provides. Something that RimWorld has taught me is that my mouse is going out. You may have seen... Let's see if I can replicate it. See? No? No? The left mouse button is not showing. It's not doing it right now. When I first booted it up, it was like barely working. The left mouse button, it kind of releases the trigger, unfortunately, so need to get a new mouse. Okay, get rid of that, and uh, now this is ready to be dug out. I was trying to, to schedule the digging out of this room, and it was not working out. So dig this out, we'll put the brewery right here, a bunch of barrels, that's, that's all you need really, and then, of course, we need to climate control it. Because the barrels are, uh, you need to make sure they are the uh, uh, just room temperature. The room temperature is like, I think it's like 15 to 40 degrees. It cannot be outside of that, outside of that range. Of course, Celsius. Basically, comfortable human in habitation. You want that kind of temperature for the barrels to ferment. All right, F uh, floors. Give me some sterile tiles. Takes quite a bit of silver. Got a freaking heat wave going on. So each one of these costs 72 silver, which is not that bad. Not that bad of an investment. Uh, the thing is, only eight pods. We have 20 bajillion people. So um, we might need to expand this. Maybe even put them in the middle and also create a whole bunch of... A whole bunch of uh, sterile tile in the middle. For now, we really need some freaking lighting here. Make sure these lamps. Please, please, I want it. Whatever. Let's just center it like so. There you are. And this feels like such a waste. I'm going. To, I need to put something in there. I need to do it. So, see, the, the mushroom, uh, this is not going to last me until the next harvest is ready. We need more mushrooms. I guess we can just expand it a little bit. Mine this out like so. One more row. And that makes it so that... That's ten. That's ten. Even. Symmetrical. Very important. Anyway, there's a freaking heat wave. But inside the mountain, we're doing fine. Everything's great. Are they gone yet? You know what? We can do it now. We can just do it now. Actually, on daybreak or something, I need to make sure everybody's needs are, are pretty okay. And they are, but we'll do it in the morning. A good old party with the Empire in the morning. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be the highlight of our of our entire year. It's going to be awesome. How's our component load right now? 18, man. I just go through so many components in modern RimWorld. They used to be not even close to as demanding. But especially with the biotech expansion, you need, like, twice three times the components you used to if you want to be a, a, a functional member of society it's just uh, out of control like how many f components in a biosculptor pot four each it's out of control brother it's just too much all right let's create one of these it's a freaking uh, freezer needs components as well everything needs all many damn components and you know what? I want my brewery to have beautiful walls, so we're going to build them nicely. Dig everything out. 
Get all this garbage hold out of here. This one as well. Masterwork. Human leather pants. Wow. <laughs> I was hoping for break soul to, you know, have a breakthrough. Work left 330, huh? What is he doing? He's just resting. All right. You really need to... You don't need to... Re Look at your... Get to work. Break soul. Get to work. I want this built before your inspiration goes away. Dumbass. Otherwise, we're going to be wasting it. Okay, this is good. Give me some beautiful walls, actually. Do that there. How about the temperature in here? I really should have a good temperature for this, but it should be fine. I mean, 44 degrees over there is just out of control. The freezer? Oh, yeah, of course, because this damn thing is open. Please. There's no room. There's no room. <laughs> I just want it. I just want one more spot. Please. Pull this. This particular... There you are. You're going to hold that one so that the freezer is not permanently open to the heat wave. <laughs> this is a, not a freezer at all. Not even a refrigerator. It's completely worthless to me right now. You put the walk right there. Grave digger. Just uh, walking around with his wonderful little appendage. He loves it. Do you have any idea how deep up his, that butthole that goes? He is super into it. He has the greatest gooning sessions. All right, buddy, friend, compadre. Let me see. Everybody, I want everybody to have a meal in their belly. Seems like it's happening right now. I am disappointed at our lack of human meat so quickly. That is why you are going to really appreciate the Empire people, and those rays that are going to happen. Invisible creature. Bruh. <laughs> I want this the whole... I want another giant wave of monsters! Really, you say, has detected an invisible creature, but you don't even bother to show it? What kind of garbage detector is this? At least there's no one out there, which should be fairly safe. This heat wave, though. Hopefully we won't have people pass out out there. All right. We do not trust the safety of this invisible creature. It is not some harmless ghost passing through. Where is it, though? Invisible creature detected. You're worthless to me. This is so pointless. Build all these damn detectors for what? Rattan. This was named by a by a colonist. Oh, this just opened all by itself. Meg, you must stop whatever this is from going any further. I rely on you to club in the head whatever brushes by. Okay. Revenant. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is not... Well, uh, a stealer, a sight stealer. A spindly creature. A spindly figure of desiccated skin stretch over an impossibly tall humanoid frame. The Revenant's name comes from its pattern of returning to hypnotize new people each night. Outlander folklore describes an invisible specter that captures the minds of sinners, placing them in a living hell. In the story, the victims can only be returned to life by hunting the creature as it sleeps and killing it. A hidden revenant can be revealed with disruptive flares, explosive CMP, fire foam, or fire. So can I attack it? I know who has fire, and that is Meg. Ever so convenient, Meg. It is very nice for you to be right there on the front line. Oh, but it looks like Blario is attacking. Oh, it is revealed. Look at that. 
I mean, I still want to set you on fire, though. <laughs> Ow! Revenant attack! Hunting one of your colonists! Yeah, yeah, Meg is uh, engaging head-on. She is not afraid of some discount daddy long legs. He's not, she's not afraid of bootleg slender man. Holy crap, is she going to get hypnotized? This is just upsetting. Just murder it! <laughs> no! She's hypnotized. Has been hypnotized by Remna and now is rambling coherently about nightmarish images and ideas. Killing the Revenant will okay. Killing the Revenant will end the hypnosis. The Revenant uses psychic powers to twist the perceptions of those around it, making itself invisible. However, it can still be hunted by following the black smears that it leaves. The Revenant will be revealed if it by explosive weapons, fire foam, EMPs, fire, or disruptor flares. Um, upsetting, upsetting indeed. But you must be like super close to death. You are one tough son of a bitch. You may not flee. Sorry, Trunk is there to stop you. You filth! Release the animals! New research available, huh? Ribbon invisibility and brain wipe. Okay, okay. That's good. That's amazing. Close that up. Where is that? Where is that? Uh, let me see it. Frenzy inducer, bioferrite, bioferrite weaponry. My goodness. Phylophagy. Perform a physical rate that drains experience from a victim and gives it to the invoker. Wow. A weird chronophagy. Chronophagy. Can eat time itself? Perform a psychic ritual that causes the target to age rapidly. The original invoker will become younger in the process. The target will suffer brain damage as a result, which may be lethal for elderly targets. This is a great use for prisoners. Disruptor flares. We need some of these. Uh, th this revenant threat needs to be neutralized. Post haste. It's very fast, too. Look at that. That's annoying, though. We need our friend Banana, who has a Hellcat burner. But this thing is fast and it can open my doors. It's annoying as hell. It keeps walking that way. The flesh chunk. The Wounded Revenant left behind a piece of itself. Oh. Interesting. Sure. We're gonna, we're gonna analyze that shit. Our friend La Katrina will do it if, if she will. Uh, if she will volunteer, but I don't, I don't know where she's at. Uh, there, La Katrina will do it. It's okay, Meg. We're going to get you out of this horrible pickle. Thing is, I don't need to hunt with so many people, right? Hike, maybe it's time for you to let go of the jetpack so Banana can quickly set this thing on fire. Because this thing is freaking invisible. It's so annoying. It's right there. But the problem is, where do you aim the fire to stop it from, from advancing? And once you discover it, we really need to keep on top of it. Okay, banana, this is your time. This is your time. Man, the the cone is so ass. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's going that way. Does it like the water? Keep going, keep going. We're going to chase this son of a bitch. Oh, he's going to my... Okay, Banana, you're going to make a... I want to set my hate grass on fire. <laughs> make an educated guess. 
There goes the fire. Oh, wow, it's almost instant. Holy crap. I didn't realize it was that fast. Set this as a home area. Make sure that fire gets uh, put, o put out. Oh, it's so fast. And we need people to be close to shoot it. All right, all right. Here goes. Get wrecked, bitch! Everybody, shoot him! <laughs> shoot it! <laughs> Hike! Time to jump. Jump in, murder! This thing is so tanky. How? Are you, how? Club in the head until it's dead. How can it resist so many hits? That's just silly. Put it without fire, though. Wonder if it will just stay there. No, it goes back invisible. That sucks. This is super upset. Oh, I maybe I could I use my insanity lands. Is there any other impid? No, all we got is we don't have a whole lot of fire. It sucks ass. Well. We can't just let it be for the time being. Well, there's no way we can. There's no way we can get it right this moment. Everybody, oh, crack like back bay. If he had uh, cut it with uh, one of them, he might have been able to. Revenant hypnosis. The person has been hypnotized by a revenant and remains linked to it. They ramble about nightmarish creatures. After who knows how the revenant will hibernate somewhere in the same map as the victim. Can the revenant will end the hypnosis? Hypnosis? Also, uh, apparently, if they are going to hibernate, that does mean I should be able to find them in a corner somewhere. So we just need to pay attention to where these marks are leading. Uh, let's see. We want somebody with a Molotov. How a born to crawl needs to go back. How are you doing, Mood? Mood, you're doing great. We really need to put the Molotovs closer to the entrance. Uh, equip the Molotov cocktail and come back out here. Hike, you're going to chase down this piece of garbage. Everybody else, go back to your standard procedure. But we're going to at least discover where this piece of trash is going to hibernate. Because Meg cannot be... Actually, I should not be sending a single person. Right? Because it's a terrible idea. Because they will also get hypnotized. So let's just pay attention where these mirrors go. Maybe you need to be close, though, to be able to see the smears. Yeah, I don't see any more smears. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's so fast. I hate this. <laughs> what, a, what a terrible, terrible chore. Research. Give me... Disruptor Flares. Oh, you need this too, huh? Bruh. Uh, like is like a Trina already investigating this nonsense? Where is she? Oh, there she is. No, she's just cooking. <laughs> she's not interested. She's just going to cook this crap. Okay, Burn to Crawl has now the Molotovs. We cannot underestimate this threat. Maybe what we'll do is we'll wait. Just leave her alone. Get everything back to where, where, where's that? I hate that the, there's like rain and darkness, so it's even hard to see the damn smears. This is the last I can see. Let's finish the Oh! 
Finishing eyes in the Revenant flesh chunk with biosignature Cinder Might J1. She learned more about the particular Revenant's biology and how to identify fluids it leaves behind. This Revenant will now leave a much longer trail of visible smudges when it flees. Perhaps you'll be able to find it and kill it while it sleeps. You can try to by smears, by smears it left, leaves behind and l reveal it with disruptor flares. Uh, this is the last smudge I see, though. See any more smudges is anywhere? Am I blind? The damn darkness and rain makes it hard to identify. He might just be there, you know. It's 9 p.m. We're going to wait until morning, and then we'll go out with a small strike party and start throwing Molotovs everywhere. We'll burn down this damn forest if we have to. This hypnosis needs to stop. Hopefully, effing Damas won't be intercepted by this disgusting creature and get wrecked. My beautiful plan has been uh, set aside by this horrible monstrosity. What a pain in the ass. Oh, it took an entire platoon's worth of uh, firepower. Still did not get destroyed. That thing. Truly impressive. So tanky. Out of control, brother. Please chop down these trees. These are pissing me off. Banana no longer inspire. Unfortunately, the smear is still there. I mean, the last one I can see is there. So I think we can maybe assume he, it's just here. Let's just wait until morning. Poor T Rose. It's always dealing with shit man <laughs> she's not she's not a lucky a lucky gal hunter lacks weapon no he's got a molotov cocktail Il yeah yeah we'll get around to the h reversal this entire thing with we need so many more freaking components i only have 14 but let's create at least one for for the one that is the most grumpy Put it right there. We have light all over the place. Very nice. The food situation is doing okay. This damn reverend man, threw a freaking wrench into all my plants. Piece of garbage. Poor Meg. She's not having a grand time. Just <laughs> getting her face just full. Full of uh, nightmares. 5 a.m. I want. What happened? Oh, there was an eclipse that drained my batteries quite a lot. Because of all th this uh, hop situation, is out of control too. Floors. And with. Uh, when you make a brewery, those floors need to be wooden. Nah, let's not do that. Let's just create nice, nice little blocks. Lots of granite, lots of sandstone. Floors. Make that sandstone tile 156 that's nothing all right nice it is the morning does everybody have a meal in them looking pretty good with the exception of hike go eat hike i hate this food situation <laughs> we eat so much food we got through so much food it's it's pretty crazy we pro after the first harvest of hops is down I might need to just put standard old potatoes in these uh, tiles just to have food. Uh, we'll have to dig out some more. Let's see. Floors. Fungal gravel. Like so, a masterwork. Hey, I was hoping for a legendary there, break soul, but I'll take it. That's a good, that's a good piece of firepower. Well done. What are you even wielding? A poor charge rifle? You can wield your own masterwork. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. All right, buddy. Born to crawl. You know what? We're going to take this very seriously. We're going to take this as serious as a heart attack. T-Rose is not doing great, though. How about T-Rose? You can, you can sit this one out. 
Uh, banana also has fire. But I, I want everybody to go out there. Still this mirror right there. That's the latest. I don't see any other anywhere, right? I'm telling you, it's sleeping right here. We're going to start throwing Molotovs until either it or the entire map catches fire. I will not be held back by some nasty ass revenant piece of trash hiding in the bushes like a coward. Crack like Bagby. Could you maybe just sword this creature into the into the oblivion? Oh man, he, sh he didn't reload. I mean, it's right there, right? Let's just wait. Wait until Born to Crawl is here. How slow are you, Born, born to Crawl? Holy crap! We also want to be able to, you know, shoot this creature dead, if need be. So we need enough firepower here to make this happen. Whoosh! Nothing. Hmm. Fine. Or is Born to Crawl? The hibernation. Somewhere nearby. Man, it's only... These Molotov cocktails. This is going to take forever. <laughs> okay, everybody. Don't get too close to the fire. And the last smear is there. Major stupid spray. Now look at that. They got to, they got to work right away. Eh. This method is not the greatest. This is gonna take forever. But I mean, if I set the whole forest on fire, eventually the fire will spread. The thing is, like. Hibernating, it does suggest that the creature may be, like, in a corner? I don't see any smears here. That's such a waste of time and resources. Just wait until we have the research. Because it's just silly. Eventually the Revenant will reveal itself trying to hypnotize another one of my colonies, right? But you don't want to be passive about it. You want to be proactive. You want to set this thing on fire while it sleeps. Hike, fine. You can. You may leave. <sighs> Don't really know what to do about it. Because it's possible, like it simply stopped leaving smears and it just kept going and going and going. Who knows where it might be, right? Fine. Oh man, that was my mouse malfunctioning again. Fine. We'll just wait. We'll have to wait. Until it reveals itself or until we get that research complete. Eventually it will happen. I hate it though. Setting this forest on fire for what? Absolutely nothing. Oh. Did I see something? Did I see something over there? Now I'm paranoid. Oh, what's this? <laughs> it's just things breaking. It's just things breaking. Heat stroke, huh? Is it really that hot outside? It's just 48 degrees. Don't be such a pussy. Just go lay down. So many minor uh, break risks because of the the nonsense here. The loving, loving polar bear, huh? Uh, 
I'm just going to have to operate like nothing's going on. And we'll just have to wait until it reveals itself again. The thing is, if it's hibernating, I'll betcha all its wounds are going to disappear. And it, you go back to ground zero. And that is annoying as hell. Am I out of camp fuel? No, we have plenty of camp fuel. Which means I should make some more generators. Shoot frenzy on T rows, huh? That's that's wonderful. Oh no, another masterwork. I would really wanted to invite the Empire for a wonderful party, but I was sidetracked and completely blindsided by this invisible piece of trash that left a trail and then left nothing else. Set the whole forest on fire. Was unable to encounter this damn creature. Question. Can I build a flamethrower? I know that flamethrowers exist in the new expansion. But can I build it right away? It's in the area launcher. Doesn't look like it. Bolt action, blah, blah, blah. Nah. I think I need to research it. Let's try and find it. Damon, Void Provocation, Chronophagy. I don't think I have. Atmospheric Heater, huh? <laughs> Build biofuel power heaters that produce enough heat to warm entire region. Wow. Cargo pods. Chocolate. Sure, why not? <sighs> so frustrating. Very frustrating. Continue cooking those mushrooms. I guess these are kind of grown like we are like right on the edge of food right the the food situation is barely under control if the food production doesn't get interrupted we are okay with just eating tons of mushrooms thing is like the moment that some kind of crisis happens and the food in, the food is getting interrupted we're not gonna have a good time so uh, I think we should have another mushroom patch soon i am so hung up with this this damn creature brother <laughs> it's just i am so mad about it i took extreme measures extreme i say they were not good enough oh well i'm sure that this will come to a resolution in the next episode